What's up, y'all? This is uh, Marty, the producer, coming at you. Uh, I'm gonna start these videos off basically giving you my opinion on like the newest CD that I didn't cop that I think is hot or if I think is a flop. So, uh, basically, let me let you know a little background about me. Born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, basically, been in the game producing and songwriting. Uh, producing hip-hop and R&B, songwriting for hip-hop and R&B since 97, like seriously. So, uh, and I went to college, got a degree in music. So, basically, I feel like I'm a good critic on music as far as the sound and, and how it's, you know, how it's being presented to the community. So, uh, today what I'm going to do is review uh, Jeezy's new CD, the recession. Just to give you all a look. See that? This is my Zoom. If you all know what is Microsoft Zoom is, look it up. So, I'm reviewing Jeezy, The Recession. And I'm a big fan of Jeezy, so I had to pick up this CD just to hear what he was talking about. And basically, he came at a different angle with this CD because obviously well from the name first of all he called it the recession so uh, basically he had a different take on uh, a different angle than all his previous two CDs uh, he still kept the street which obviously everybody love about Jeezy uh, I would on a scale of one to five I give the CD a four um, there's not too many things I would step up but let me talk about the positive things and I'll touch on one little thing I probably would change on this CD, on this CD. Uh, positives like straight through from the intro like the intro is banging so straight through from the intro to the end of the CD you got nothing but straight hits so you can play the CD and not have it not have to skip a track to get to another good song like you can listen to it straight through and be satisfied uh, he obviously got the two singles put on and vacation uh, which are obviously club bangers, but uh, I, if I was him, like my next, I put the next single as my president, uh, featuring Nas, which obviously comes in time for uh, the election that's coming up. I think that'd be a great motivation song to like move people to go out and vote, or look, you know, youngsters that look up to Jeezy to go out and vote. So uh, now the one thing I would change, like to me. A lot of the beats, like, kind of sound similar. Like, the, the drum patterns, like, I really listen to analyze music. Like, most of the, there's like four songs. Now, I want to say the four songs are back to back. I don't know them off the top of my head, but I listen to the CD enough. But, like, the drum patterns sound exactly the same. And all someone changed was the bass line or the horns or something like that. And,. You know, if, if you that type of person, that's one thing I would change. I probably would make a little variety on a on a type of tracks. But he does have some variety on here. He got uh, a little something. Obviously, the streets, uh, the streets anthems or whatever. He got uh, basically stuff talking about how you know the the country is, and he talks about how uh, his life is and what people he know is going through. So I really would give the CD a four. Uh, definitely something you want to put in your uh, collection. Uh, speaking of another CD to put in your collection, collection I'm not going to review it today because uh, I wasn't prepared to do it. But right before I copped Jeezy's CD, the CD before that I copped that I thought was uh, a classic would be Lil Wayne's Carter III. Uh, definitely go pick that one up. That's banger straight through from beginning to end, straight up. Lil Wayne, you did your thing on that one, boy. Um, speaking of Lil Wayne, went to the mailbox today, and inside was the copy of my Double XL. That's Lil Wayne on the cover. Now, let me tell you one thing about one thing about me and magazines. Like I actually read magazines. You see this? Do y'all see this? You see how it's bent right there? 
Like, I don't know where this thing done been at. Like, somebody, I guess the mailman just kept tossing this around. I got creases all in the back of my CD. And, man, I'm going to have to call people at XX, XXL, man. They sending me this whack CD, this whack magazine with all the scratches. Look at this. I know, I'm very particular about magazines when I read them. I don't necessarily like to fold them. I keep I keep all magazines. I don't throw them away. So, uh, yeah, that's enough about that magazine. Anyways, if you're an artist out there and you want your song reviewed or you want your CD reviewed, you can send it to uh, Marty, the producer. So that's M-A-U-D-Y-T-H-A, producer, P-R-O-D-U-C-E-R, at yahoo.com. Uh, send me your, upload your tracks. I'll listen to it. Uh, I'll email you back with a review that I got uh, my opinion on it. So you got, I would say, a professional opinion on it because I consider myself a professional musician. Uh, also, if you got, uh, if you want to mail me your CDs, I'll definitely accept those and take a listen to them. Uh, you can mail them to P.O. Box uh, 16, and that's A Leaf. A L I E F Texas 77411. So P.O. Box 16 A Leaf Texas 77411. Until next time, or, you know, next week I might come with an R&B CD review. I know Jasmine Sullivan about to come out. I know Chris uh, Karina just came out, so I might go pick that up. Donnie Klang just came out. I don't know. It, it could be anything. It could be R&B, rap, hip-hop, gospel. So I'm just coming to let you know my opinions on it. So until next time, I'll keep it 100.